What's up, folks? Hope we're all doing well. As per usual, welcome back to more esports talk. Today, we talk about a point that was actually brought to life by XQC a long, long time ago. I like diving back on these kind of clips, though, especially when they become quite relevant. That being the talking points of Fortnite and Counter Strike and what XQC was going on a rant about in this clip, I'm going to play for you guys. Quite a lengthy clip. He actually talks about, I believe, the game of Fortnite, but other games out there offering these battle passes and things you can actually buy ahead on. And, you know, these players out there who grind and grind in game to unlock these items and then the game themselves are like or or you can just buy ahead or buy the item entirely for said price. He goes on to talk about how CSGO is immortal. It is undying because of their hardcore fan base and games like Fortnite who have been here for just a blip of time who are obviously making gigantic cash grabs. He says that that is not a survivable model. Here, demand. And the criticism mixed with cash incentive instant reward they cave in oh oh, oh, oh wait 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 purple, purple, purple shirts what green shoes green, green shoes yo hat or socks uh by the way yeah 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 okay yeah yeah um guys what was in the full package tomorrow in the shop 64 dollars the whole thing and they're like but but wait but wait but wait I, I slept four hours the entire week to get that. Like, yeah, but but the, these 1.6 million players paid 20 bucks for it. So, and then and then it, it, it creates such a big disconnect. And there's a middle ground that companies have tried that works, and there's some that that doesn't work. Or one of the one that personally I think doesn't work is Fortnite re-releasing the uh, the skeleton skin or whatever for Halloween, and made it a little bit different. Oh look, you have a different color scheme, lol. It's not good enough, dude. What is wrong with you? If you commit to doing a seasonal event or a seasonal release or a special release, commit to it. Don't back out of it, you fucking bitch. Don't back. It is a risk to do a seasonal event. If you take the risk, fully commit to it. You took the you took the gamble, not us. We just play your fucking game. Yeah, but in the long run, in the long run, when, when Fortnite will not be on ESPN and will not be on fucking on Disney XD and won't be promoted in my in, in my cereal boxes and on Ninja Channel, dude, there will be nobody left, nobody. And how will they make money? They won't. They will make money because it will die like crazy if if the, all the hardcores leave. Because the time and time again, when hype waves die, when hype dies, when. When 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 trains uh, fall off, five Can I get the right? You all will you will always be dwindled down to who cares the most, the hardcores, and there's gonna be none, zero. Look at CS, the game is washed up. But look how many hardcores they have. They have a, a crazy amount. It's indestructible. You cannot kill CS because the hardcores are all there. It is undying. CS is undying because of it. Oh, but wait, but wait. Oh, no, no, no. Let's talk. Let's not take advice. And let's talk. Net, let's not look at the track record of CS. The game was really thrived for 20 years. Let's look at our instant success and our great minds here at Epic Games. Because we know better. Because we've been in, in this sphere for literally 20 seconds after doing, after doing a ripoff of another game and always succeeded because we're so smart. Because we're so creative. Because we're so ahead of the curve. Because we're so fucking big brain. No! You got lucky! That's it! It's the survivors you bias! I, I, I can't. I, I'm done. I've had enough. And, the, and part of me just really enjoys when XQC gets very heated about these kind of debates because it does spark a great debate, particularly when he compares Fortnite and Counter Strike. I, I would agree with that point. Counter Strike, the one of the longevity, uh, one of the few longevity titles out there alongside, you know, League of Legends, uh, and maybe a game like Dota as well. CSGO remaining relevant after this many years is quite impressive, so I do think he makes a great point. The future of Fortnite, though, is still widely up in the air. I think he makes some great points about Fortnite, potentially talking about other games as well, who are simply cash grabbing, you know, reworking every skin possible and every single variety of that same skin to make as much money. Uh, I mean, Fortnite and skins alone, despite their uh, legal suits currently ongoing, uh, making, what, over a billion dollars a year based off these skin sales, they're obviously doing something very much uh, in the right manner, but is it a long play. 
Are they able to actually produce these hardcore and uh, long style players who will actually keep the game alive as long as Counter-Strike? I have no idea, but it's also a great talking point because even a game like CSGO has been well noted to make a lot of money off of CSGO cases in skins. I just think it's looked at a lot, a lot differently, even though CSGO produces a lot of cases and a lot of knives and different skins for their said weaponry, Fortnite also kind of bundles up and un unleashes a lot to their store, and so it's certainly a weird comparison to make. So what do you guys think about the XQC points? Fortnite, of course, a short-term cash grab. Can they live as long as Counter-Strike? And Counter-Strike, is it truly undying? Is it truly immortal? Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy. Drink that water, drink that coffee. I'll be back here all day, all week long. Until then, take care of yourselves. I'll see you back here sometime soon.